see. What's there's no flavor? Lotus. It's lotus tea. I don't know. It's probably poisonous. <laughs> the hell? That's how you taste things. Is that how That's you how taste I hear. It? That's what I hear. That's what you hear? I'm That's gonna you... swish it around. I can't stand mm, that. It's sound. a good year. It's got some nice legs on it. You're listening to Articulate with your hosts, Kevin Kramer and Sean Gillespie. Your go-to guys for art tips, techniques, and general artist ramblings. Presented by DrawingAndColoring.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Articulate, the show where we talk about everything art. I'm Kevin Kramer. I'm Sean Gillespie. And Um, today, today, we're talking about flat design. Flat design. Well, what is flat design, Kevin? You know, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I was curious. Yeah. Yeah. Flat design is everything that you've been seeing lately on the internet. Like all of those flat designs. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, they have, like, you very know, informative. Well, they have a lot of <laughs> right. squared off and everything's kind of matte finished. and. Best way I think about it is... OS 6 versus OS 7 <laughs> for right. the iPhone. Well, there is that. That's skeuomorphism right. Right. and flat design. Right. So you had like the more 3D looking icons. So like mine is uh, an OS uh, 6. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, fancy, see? fancy. Uh, I hope they don't see my OK Cupid uh, <laughs> profile on there because I'm on there. <laughs> Hit me up, send me a message. Mm. But you've got the <laughs> flat design. Yes. And, uh, and this is one of those interesting things where... Everybody's doing flat design now. It's become very popular. You get right. a lot of companies that are rebranding themselves using flat design, like KFC. Pretty much all the fast food companies, Wendy's. Taco Bell, which they're all yeah. owned by KFC, I think, or KFC is owned by Taco Bell, or they're I'm all sure there's owned. some parent company. They're all owned by the same folks. Some conglomerate. But everybody's redesigning themselves. Right. Flat. That's flat is the new 3D or something. I don't know. The new texture. Don't quote me on that. Don't do <laughs> but that. But yeah, but it's very popular, but it's one of those things where it started out due to the tool that everybody was using. Right. Right. Which yeah. is? Illustrator. That's right. But Illustrator. Boom. Oh, see? Bam. Lining them up is knocking them down. Bam. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right. So, Illustrator uh, is vector-based. And for those who don't know, a vector is a line. Whereas in Photoshop, everything is raster. raster. Yeah, see? Did it, did there we go, it. there we go, lining them up. <laughs> right. And so with raster files, everything is dots. Yes. Dot, 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 that's dot. where you get all that pixelated when right. you're zooming in, you're zooming in. Right. And that's why you're like, I don't understand. We took my picture of Uncle Jethro, and I'm going to zoom in because he's way back in the background, right. and now he's all pixelated. What right. a bummer. That's can't, the only picture we had of him at the wedding. And you can't print that. You can't print that. It looks like crap. It looks like crap. So, <laughs> so, you recreate the photos in vector form. Right. So, not usually. Graphic designers <laughs> use Illustrator because when they create like a logo or something like that, right. they know it's going to be enlarged as big as a building and yeah, is whatever or as size small you want. as yeah. a tic tac. However big you need it to be or small. The smallest known thing to exist is the tic tac. With print? It's science. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Tic tac is the smallest uh, thing. The smallest printed well, area. Well, you've got atoms. True. And then you get down to quarks. Right. And then you get back down to Tic Tacs. Interesting. Yeah. It's fascinating. I'm look that one up. No, it's, I made it up. Oh. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so the point is, though, that the tool, so people started doing it in Illustrator. All right. right. Graphic artists, not people. It's not just people off the street who are like, I right. think I will use Illustrator. So graphic artists maybe started, so. maybe. I don't know what happened. But they started working in Illustrator so that it could be enlarged and, and made smaller. Right. And, but then it became an aesthetic. Yeah, because right. it's clean. Right. And actually, for purposes on the web, it loads a lot faster. Right, because it's it's not as, the files are not as large. Right. That, right. and even on your phone, too, it loads quicker and things move around a lot yeah. easier. It's just like outlines of stuff. It's not right. loading a whole 3D texture, right. plus the application, plus whatever else is coming right. through it. And typically, it doesn't have a lot of shading and things like that, too, although right. you can put shading in, but usually there's a... And you've probably seen this where, what's it, like a scanner darkly where it's got the shading, but yeah. it's all like in it's lines. It's usually like posterized right, or something. Kind right, of, yeah. and Which is a cool aesthetic. And that's one of those things too where right. it's like Illustrator created that aesthetic. Although I imagine they used quite a bit of Photoshop too. Did they use Illustrator for a scanner darkly? 
I'm sure they do. Man, we should look this up. If you know. If you know, tell us. Because I feel like when that movie came out, everybody's like, they did it on the computer and it's amazing. And I was like, yeah, that is amazing. But I wonder if they used Illustrator or Photoshop or both. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it took forever to make. It did take forever to make. And it's cool looking. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's all part of that kind of flat design. Right, flat design. And it, that flat design has gone through across everything mm-hmm. as far as even the way that physical products and things are designed. It's right. just like the uh, right here. You look at this. Let's look at that. Let's go. While well, he's grabbing that, let's look at that. What do we got there? Right here. All oh, right. look at that. Look at the design right there. That right there. Oh, this is our microphone here. The Yeti microphone. Right. <laughs> The text, it has that matte color, the matte finish, the different palettes. You can't see it if you hold it like that. We're looking at it. (laughs) We're looking at it. But yeah, see, it's like all the little owls on there. They're Um, they're yetis. Oh, they're yetis. Come on. Well, they should be yetis because it's a yeti (laughs) microphone, but they look like owls. Well, you talk, this one definitely looks like an owl. Well, you talk You talk to the... De- that one in the middle, that looks like an owl. You talk to, you talk to the designer. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the designer about that. Say, hey, buddy. But yeah, Your this, yetis look like owls, friend. This is flat design. It's got like a smooth finish. And right. it's got all the aesthetics. Mm-hmm. And even the color palettes are kind of associated with it now, too. Right. It has become like... The, it kind of reminds me of um, Starbucks. Starbucks-y colors. A little bit. All right? A little green. Yeah. Little, lots of browns. But as far as across that, there's like muted color palettes mm-hmm. that almost go. There's a website. It's called Flat UI. Or if you search Flat Design on uh, Google, it'll bring up a website that has nothing but palettes huh. of flat colors. That's cool. And it actually is really cool. And yeah, it's cool. You can just click on them and it brings up pretty on. much all of these different colors. Yeah, because it definitely you know has its own aesthetic and it's become it's become its own genre, really, it of is, art completely. in a way. Yeah. But what's interesting <laughs> is that while flat design has had this reinsurgence due to Illustrator and all that, you can't you do have flat design art from back in the day. Oh yeah. Yeah. And mostly from people using stencils and airbrushing. Like Warhol. Uh, yeah. Like well, that was printmaking. But yeah, also printmaking is a good example right. of flat design. Yeah. So you've got it it's got its roots in printmaking and in airbrush as well. Right. Which is cool. Well most most of the obviously all the digital things are rooted in those older processes. Well right. But my point is that the digital just makes it easier to achieve that aesthetic and right. maybe even get a cleaner aesthetic for that. Yeah, definitely. Right. I agree completely. But a lot of people are like, flat design is new! And it's like... It's not. Let me tell you, you young whippersnappers. It's oh, flat design's been around since I've been around. <laughs> That's what I tell them. <laughs> and even longer. <laughs> and even longer. Even longer. Since before my grandpappy's pappy was a kid. <laughs> I'm just going to talk like that the rest of this podcast. Please do. <laughs> it's going to uh, be fun. Go check the weather. We're going to have a good jolly old time. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. So flat design, folks. Flat design. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. What I do you like think? What do, do you, you think? like flat design? Do you like skeuomorphism? Do you like those super hardcore textures? Are you with Scott Forstall? I don't think we've defined skewed morphism. Well, skew. Yeah, but I think we did. With did the, we? Did I don't we? think so. Yeah. Tell them what that is real quick. That is, I missed it. <laughs> that is basically the replication of real world textures on flat surfaces. Oh. Yeah. So like if you were using the sofa, <laughs> which is a little tattered. <laughs> don't don't look at the sofa, folks. If you were using Don't look at the sofa. Any uh what is it? Like uh like if you have linens mm-hmm. or textures and mm-hmm. you put that it, okay. which even that is still used in some flat design too, but right. The ones that are meant to look like their 3D world counterparts, that's the skeuomorphism. Okay. Like the calculator on iOS 5 or 6, 7. What are we on? I don't even remember. We're on 7 now. The calculator on there, it looks Mm -hmm. like if you go on 06, it looks like a... You got the leather, the bound, like the calendar. Oh, the right, right. Bound, looks real. Right. Okay. So it's uh, using a uh, vector-based world to make things look like they're right. well, real it's, or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's like like when you get like, when you open up a, a thing and it's, you're going to take some notes and it's got the little three ring binder thing going right. all the way down it. And you're like, why is that there? I'm right. not messing on a three ring binder. This exactly. is an iPad, people. Exactly. It's an iPad. Exactly. Yeah. That's, okay. That's the skewer morphism. I got gotcha. you. 
I gotcha. It's a hell of a word to learn. It is. Fuel morphism. I hadn't heard it before, but I'm glad I learned it now. See, we learn as you learn. Indeed. <laughs> well, cool. Well, yeah. That's a, well, that's it. That's flat design, right? That is flat design. I mean, that's what it. again, what if you have uh, any examples of flat design that you really liked, or if you have any... Do you like skill morphism? Yeah, what a, tell us about that some yeah. more. Leave that in the comments below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like iTunes, us on Facebook. Facebook. We've got like 100 people on there now. Yeah. We're kind of a big deal. Bumping. <laughs> yeah. So. so have a good one, folks. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. You've been listening to Articulate with Kevin and Sean. Subscribe on iTunes or check them out on drawingandcoloring.com. Always reminding you to keep it simple.